All right, this is Eric Knudsen. I'm going to just quickly go over what I did for Sprint 1. Uh, so first off, the before state of the first-person shooter micro game. Uh, most of us, I believe, have seen it already, but it's pretty simple. You walk around, you have a gun, you can shoot some enemies, you can sprint, there's some pretty basic uh, player controls. Uh, I didn't change many of those, so uh, don't be expecting much in terms of that. A lot of what I uh, changed was art assets. So, I tried to keep them all in the style of, like, this robot here, uh, and the plasma blaster that I have in my hands. So, uh, let me just close this. Uh, so here's my game here. Uh, when you play it, you'll notice that uh, I just changed the map just to uh, add a bit of variety to it. So, uh, shotgun I just had here uh, just to show what this looks like. Uh, this was already in the game, but here, this is the hammer that I added that allows you to build the towers. Uh, when you left-click while holding the hammer in your hand, it'll just place a, uh, a tower model. Uh, they don't have any, um, any AI added to them yet, uh, but hopefully when I do the, the next sprints, the towers will actually uh, track and shoot at, you know, what the enemies as they're going down the track uh, for the tower defense part of the game. So this here is the laser tower. I tried to model it after uh, the plasma pistol here. Colors are a bit different. Uh, the energy cells on the top didn't really work out the way I wanted to. I think I know why, but I just don't have uh, time to fix them right now. So hopefully when I add some particle effects into uh, all of this, um, I will be able to fix that as well. Uh, so the second tower is the rocket tower. Uh, it's pretty simple. I could add a bit more details here when I get a chance. I'm not entirely sure why I'm teleporting around, but maybe that's because of the WebGL build. Uh, pretty simple, though. Again, we'll sort of do an AoE attack once I uh, code that in. Next is the Tesla Tower. It's got this bit of a... or a bit of a transparent sort of ball on the top. It's going to be like uh, one of those sort of plasma ball toys that like you see a lot of the time. Uh, and it'll sort of shock enemies that come nearby. Uh, there's going to be a particle effect inside the transparent uh, ball as well. So uh, it, it'll look really cool, hopefully, once that gets added in. Uh, next is the uh, ice tower, sort of modeled after a bit of a snowblower. It's going to spin around, and sort of launch snow projectiles out this way. Uh, and last here is the sniper tower, which is going to be like a very long range tower. It deals uh, a lot of damage. Uh, the clip on this one looks correct, the energy cell, uh, as opposed to the ones on the laser tower. So hopefully I have somewhere to go when I want to uh, figure out why that's happening. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it.